It's a very sleepy, hollow morning out. All the other NaNoWriMo girlies have much better background, but this is what we're working with. I cannot find a good place to be. I'm fully carrying my laptop around right now. What do you think of my bookcase? Bah humbug. I've got lots of stinking books and trash. There's my photo wall with Gerard Way and Frank Iero and Vincent Van Gogh and Mikey Way. And Ryan Ross, Kurt Cobain, and P. Wins. I'm not proud. Oh. Yeah. It's a Mikey Way shrine. Alright. This is not better. But look, a series of unfortunate events. And, um, never, never tell them. Try and remember that. Never tell anyone anything ever. Never tell anyone anything again. Today is November 1st. Last year, I tried to- well, the problem is I learned about what NaNoWriMo was like. I think November had honestly already started and I tried to do it. I really can't remember exactly. Sorry for all the noises in the background. Last year I tried to write- I started writing a story but I did not have an outline or anything. I literally just started writing and I wrote about almost 9,000 words I think. So now I'm taking that idea that I started with just a couple of random scenes during Preptober. I outlined a story ish so i'm gonna try to do that for this nanorimo and i'm a little bit worried but we'll see i wrote the first wrote the first draft of um a different project throughout this year and i finished that up in september in preparation for prepped over and that project project assassin i already have a title for it but i had to think of something else like a little code word because I wanted to be like all the other NaNoWriMo girlies. So that was Project Assassin. So it's kind of fantasy-ish novel. It's not a standalone. I want to make a series out of it, but it needs a lot of work and I kind of feel like I will probably come back to it in a long time and completely rework it. But at least it's ideas jotted down. That's about 70, a little over 70,000 words at the moment. So obviously not quite like a fantasy because fantasy tends to be much longer. But again, only a first draft. So I worked on that over this year, and that was my first completed something that has ever been that long. So now I think this is feasible. I think this is a feasible challenge, but I also um, take that with a grain of salt because, of course, there's going to be days when I don't want to do it anymore. So we'll see. Today is the first day, so I get to begin it. And I didn't. I did a little bit of prepping throughout Preptober. I did. A, I followed a printable workbook I found online. I have an outline. It's a really rough outline, like a minute outline for what I'm gonna do but that's how I prefer to do it a little bit so for right now I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break maybe read a little bit I'm in the middle of a couple of books <laughs> mainly though I'm reading Misery Stephen King I was hoping to finish it last month for spooky season but it's taking longer than I thought but I'm almost done with it so I'll probably finish it in the next few days because I'm a slow reader probably read that for a little bit before getting started I didn't even say um my new project Project Ink is what it is called. It's going to be contemporary kind of literary. It's a contemporary new adult. I don't like having to put the genres on it, but I feel like you're supposed to do that. So that's kind of what it is. It's realistic fiction set in a contemporary modern setting. So yeah, but I'm going to go read Misery right now. Spoilers. Probably. Might be. Okay, it's not. 